Hey, we want you to be part of the Indie Now Book Club. Liz Shutley is here with some popular audiobooks, including some of her favorite food memoirs. We're here with the Indie Public Library. Liz, welcome back. Thank Hi, you for Liz. coming on the show Ooh, again. Thank yeah. You for having me. You bet. I always love having you guys here. Aww. You know, we're looking for some great books to read. We're talking about all the resources. So we'd love to hear from you, Liz, about your favorite food memoirs from the past three years. Okay. Um, so I listen to, or I do most of my books um, via audiobook. Okay. You know, so um, I listen to all these, even though I brought the print ones. Nice. So um, one of them is Finding Freedom by Erin French, and she is the owner of the famous restaurant, The Lost Kitchen, which is huh. in this little tiny, tiny town in Freedom, Maine. Okay. Oh, wow. And okay. In, in it, she shares a lot of food, um, uh, food stuff, but she also ch shares her story, which is, yeah. you know, kind of why um, I like these. I, lo I love memoirs. So okay. and combining food and memoir, yeah. perfect. Yes. <laughs> um, and then um, Savor by Ali Fatima. Um, she was a contestant on Top Chef and um, she tragically got cancer. Mm. She wrote most of this book um, before she passed, mm. but it's just, it's a great story. I mean, it's sad, but but um, also really, um, really good. Um, d uh, Stanley Tucci's taste was just delightful. First of all, he reads the um, the audio nice. version, so I really I felt like like he was sitting like I, I love when yeah. the author reads the book. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And you get to yeah. really hear their voice. Yeah. Yes. So I love that. Um, and he also had um, a show on PBS um, called um, Searching for Italy. And he yes. refers to that. Okay. You don't have to have watched the show, yeah. but it kind of ties the two. I found there's a nice tie between the two. Okay, that yes. might be a good gift for my Italian mother-in-law. Oh, no. Oh, yes. uh, that's immediately what I thought. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. perfect, right. perfect. Um, and then we have Eat a Peach by David Chang. He is the chef and founder of um, Monofuku, um, and he hosts a podcast. Okay. Um, he's pretty popular. Nice. Um, um, he's got, had received six James Beard awards. Gosh, um, that's very prestigious. So it it really it's um it's more than a typical food memoir. He um, talks about his struggle with mental illness um, that nearly killed him, but there's um, lots of food and restaurant details for, for those wanting behind the scenes with the restaurant nice. world. Awesome. So the last one is Fatty Fatty Boom Boom by <laughs> Rabia Ch Chandra. Okay. And this is um, a bit different, yeah. um, but sh because she is actually an attorney. Huh. But oh, wow. she's also a woman who has struggled with her weight and body image and um, her relationship to food. And, um, but it is so honest and so real. Um, and her description of her Pakistan, the Pakistani food that uh -huh. she and her family creates was just, I mean, colorful. I mean, the words yeah. she used, I could like feel it, taste it. Yeah. It, it was yeah. wonderful. It was wonderful. Oh. Um, These are great suggestions. Yeah. Well, and I love the fact that you were talking about, people probably assume since you work at the library, you're reading all the time, but you're just like everybody else. You're mm. busy and you're listening to yeah. a lot of these books. Yeah. So where can people do the same? So, um, you know, um, through our website, um, if you have, if you live in Marion County and you have a Indianapolis library card, um, you can go to, um, uh, we, we have a place for e-resources yeah. and you can find audiobooks and e-books if you, you know, I listen to them on my phone, so I listen to them in my car, I listen yeah. to them when I'm walking, when I'm cleaning my house, nice. whatever. So, yeah. um, and I know really quick amazing. we wanted to talk uh, and cover about the workstations. That yes, the so um, yeah. speaking of accessibility, um, the Indianapolis Public Library has partnered with Easter Seals Crossroads and we are installing um, accessible workstations at all 24 of our branches. Wow. And these workstations will have adjustable um, height desk, large keyboards, a large um, mouse tracking ball. Yeah. Um, wow. Um, what a nice resource. Yeah, yeah. Yes. ARM supports um, software that will include, like, um, it can read text back to the patron. Yeah. So right now, um, we have them 
um, just at Eagle, West Perry, East 38th, East Washington, and Garfield Park. But um, the rollout is to get them in all of our branches. That's great. Thank Liz, you, Liz. Thank you so much. I know the library has all that information. We've been popping it up on the screen. We appreciate you. <laughs> Coming up, we're going to tell you next how you can support local families who are fighting brain cancer at this Sunday's Tumor Takedown tailgate coming up in Greenwood. We're back with Adam Hayden and musician Jay Elliott right after this short break. Stick around, friends. I just might have